What's up guys, welcome to today's video and I just wanted to freaking mess about in the game a little bit. I got some of the mods going here. I have um, basically both of the mods running at the at the t same time, which is the um, um, one that gives you, you know, invincibility and stuff. As you can press a button and it goes off, off on. on. So I have the mod going at the moment. I have invincibility. Oh, it's freaking bad frames there. No reload and max ammo and stuff like that. I don't know. I suppose if you had no reload on, but no max ammo, you'd probably go through your ammo really quick. So, and then I have the first person mod on as well at the moment, which is a lot of people didn't really get what happened. Basically, the first person mod, what it does, it's, it puts puts you a bit further, puts the gun out a little bit further, like without the uh, point of view mod, it's kind of closer to you, everything feels a bit closer to you, and like I said in a previous video, you can make the point of view even further, so you can have the gun, it feels like it's further away, it's almost like you're holding it further away, not so close up, for example when you, when you shoot, um, you see when you shoot Franklin's white kind of um, white um, jumper or whatever it's called uh, called right um, in, in the default settings you barely see that white jumper but when you use the mod you kind of see quite a bit of the sleeve you know um, but if, if you freaking use the default one point of view uh, without the mod uh, you barely see it. it it just feels nicer I don't know how to explain it, it feels definitely nicer because it's a bit further away I don't know how to explain it. Just, just try it. If you haven't downloaded it already, have a look at my previous video, um, and um, you'll see what I mean. It, it, once you just try it, you'll, you'll kind of like, like it better. I know it's, 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 it seems like a really simple thing, and you can increase it if you want to. You, it almost feels a bit more like a first-person shooter, something like a Call of Duty or something. You know what I mean? Kind of like. Um, what, what's the game? I don't know. It feels like a Battlefield game for some reason. I don't know. It just feels nice. It feels nice. Um, it doesn't feel so close up. It feels, you know, like you're actually playing first person mode instead of like up really, really close. I don't know what I'm trying to say, okay? I'm just trying to kill some officers here and just have a little, little bit of PC mod fun. Um, I guess we can talk about a little bit of PC mods, what's happening. If you're not in the loop of things, um, just to run things down a bit, I guess a little bit. Uh, GTA, basically Rockstar, tried very hard, very hard to stop PC mods, I suppose, right? They tried harder than they should have um, to stop it, uh, which is kind of sad. Um, so they kind of like don't want people to have fun times. But um, people are trying to figure out how to, you know, get the stuff work and so saying you know for example we can't they, they can't open files and edit files which is which is the big thing you can't change and edit stuff um, like textures and vehicles and and um, everything like that so they've, they've kind of encrypted it right and uh, people are trying to you know decode it you know a bit like matrix and all that stuff so um, once people break it I suppose not really break it they they decrypt it or whatever you want to call it once they you know get the get the passwords once they figure out how to freaking you know get all the shit going um, we'll be able to change things like textures sound guns uh, mods and all that stuff like um, animations and everything like that so once that happens we should be able to get mods so I don't think it'll take I don't think it'll take long I suppose people are really already kind of on it like um, the people who created um, the program for GTA 4 to mod it are already kind of like nearly halfway there I suppose or quarter maybe like it's really it's really look it's looking really positive it's looking up real positive for um, for a future kind of like awesome mods but it's gonna take a little while uh, I, I wouldn't expect epic mods like in the first meek you know I, I think some good mods are gonna start coming out in about a week in about a month or two I uh, probably like we're looking about two months get time I reckon some good stuff will start coming out um, who knows it might be a lot quicker it might be a lot slower um, for example GTA 4 modding has evolved over years so gotta give it time right 
but I'll cover whatever mods do come out, guys. Don't you worry about it. Like you know, these two mods, for example, they're they're very simple mods, but they're mods nonetheless. And uh, I'm gonna cover every single mod. You know, I'm gonna cover whatever mod comes out. That's the mod I'll kind of cover. It could be really really stupid. Um, so you know, that could be a quick video, but still, I'm gonna do it. I like, you know, I'm excited for GTA 5 just as much as you guys are. I'm sure you know some of the people who stuck with me. Um, are, are, are bored from GTA 4 and, and, and they want to see something fresh and new and GTA 5 is that. So I'm gonna, you know, do, what the hell? What was going on here? What, a, what the fuck? What is this? That's fucking weird. What is occurring? That's a strange fucking bug. What the hell? That's so weird. <laughs> Why are they like squares? That's really strange. What the fuck? I want to unlock an RPG and just have fun with that with no reloads and no freaking. Uh, that'd be so epic. You just like imagine just shooting the RPG and shit. That'd be that'd be intense. That'd be intense. Uh, am I five stars? Yes, I am. I am five stars. So I was going to kill. Oh wow. That, that I was like two frames there. I don't know what happened there. It's a little bit laggy. I ordered some more RAM for my PC because my PC is struggling with RAM when I run this, so that might be it why it's a bit buggy. So I'm gonna get that on Wednesday, or not Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I got 16 gigabytes RAM. Um, I think it's called like Hyperx Beast or some shit, so it's pretty good RAM. Got that coming in Thursday. Looking forward to it. Should improve my PC performance quite a bit because at the moment I only have like 8 gigs, so. Didn't think I'd need more. Like three years ago, I was like, eight gigs seems like a lot. So but apparently, it wasn't enough. Now it's not enough now, especially now that I make videos and stuff like as well. I mean, I made videos back then, but goddamn die. All right, well, I guess that's really it for this video. I just wanted to talk about like a little bit mods and all that stuff, like update you guys what's going on, keep you in the loop if you don't know. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more of these kind of like data change things, like for example, I think we're going to see maybe like a Carmageddon mod, we're going to see um, probably like a Tsunami mod maybe, um, there's probably, we're going to see like a maybe no water mod, increase mod, water mod, um, what else, you know, we're going to see mods like that, but I don't think we're going to see mods like Iron Man and Hulk anytime soon, but we're going to still see mods I reckon, um, so you know, don't worry. We'll take a little bit of time, so chew your beans, but I'm happy to wait and play this, and it should be awesome. I'm going to make some fun, kind of like, um, videos as well, my friends. Um, we're going to, we're going to, we have like a play session planned out for the weekend, where we're going to do some stupid stuff, have some fun, and um, should be good, and I'll make like a fun highlight type video, and hopefully you guys will like that. I don't know if you will, but, you know, I'm sure you guys will let me know if you did or not. Anyway though, thanks for watching, see you next video, and um, yeah, what is happening at the moment, I don't fucking know, with these police officers, what the fuck?